Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over the Quoxus Hardwire 16S. And uh, this is going to be a wired to wireless converter. So what does it actually do? This will allow you to use wired sensors. You wire a sensor into the terminals and then this device will convert in, into a wireless signal, 319.5 megahertz to be exact. Now when it converts it into a wireless signal, if you have a wireless alarm system, something like the IQ2, the IQ2 Plus, or even an Interlogic system that will receive or that will work with a 319.5 megahertz frequency, then it will actually be able to pick up on your wired sensors since the signals are being transmitted wirelessly. Now, in what cases, what cases would you use this 16S? And again, this is an S as in SAM. There is also a 16F out there, which is actually the replacement for the 16S. So we have the 16S as in SAM and the 16F as in Frank. The 16F is the one that replaces the 16S, but there are still some 16Ss out there. So if you're using these, I wanna make sure that we're getting you some correct information. So this would normally be used in a house that used to have a wired system set up. So if you used to have a wired system and you're looking at upgrading to a new system like the six, uh, the IQ, Qolsys IQ2 Plus or the Qolsys IQ2 or even if you have a Simon uh, Interlogix panel that you're looking at using a uh, some wired sensors with, the 16S is definitely one that you'd be able to use. So the way that it works is this usually goes mounted right next to the actual beige metal container that has the wired, that has the wired uh, system in it. You're going to grab the wired sensors if there are existing ones and you're just going to land them into the zone terminals on your 16S. Now the 16S right above and right underneath the zone terminals on the actual green circuit board, it will actually show you what zone those two terminals work for. So it'll actually go from zone 1 all the way to zone 8 and then it'll go from zone 6 all the way to to zone, zone, I'm sorry, zone nine, all the way to zone 16. I'm sorry, yeah, I was reading that wrong. So zone one, zone eight, we have zone nine, zone 16. Um, so this 16S will actually only work for doors, windows, motions, glass breaks. It will not work for life safety sensors such as smoke detectors or CO detectors. So you wanna make sure when you're using uh, this device, the 16S, you're using it only to convert burglar devices, doors, windows, motions, glass breaks, um, and things like that. It will actually even work with a hardwired siren. It does have a 500 milliamp output um, so if you are using wired devices and a wired siren, you want to make sure you're doing the power calculation so you see how much each device draws and then you would uh, have to make sure that it doesn't overdraw from the 500 milliamps because then you could short, short circuit something. Getting into what I was saying a little bit earlier about the actual, uh, this 16F S being replaced by the 16F. Um, the main difference between both of these two devices is just that the 16F will work with the smoke detectors, two wire smoke detectors to be exact, and we'll actually get into that in another video. So one other thing, I mentioned that the 16S uh, it works with 319.5 megahertz. What that means is yes, you can use any Interlogix or Quoxis alarm system, but the 16S also does the rolling encryption. Um, now this rolling encryption is a specific uh, encryption that Quosis uses for their IQ2s, their IQ2 Plus systems. They actually have S-line sensors. This converter, the 16S, converts the wired sensors into the 319.5 and if you're using the correct system, it will also use the rolling code encryption so if I have an IQ2 or an IQ2 Plus, it will actually work with the S-Line rolling encryption. Now, this, remember what I was saying, it's a 16, that's how you can tell how many zones it can hold. It does 16. If you guys have less than eight, there's also a, uh, there's also an, a hardwire eight or an 8S um, that you can use. 
it's again, it's no longer sold. The only one that Colsys sells now is a 16F, but if you manage to get your hands on one, or if you can find one, if you have less than eight wired sensors, um, doors, windows, or motions, you can also look at getting the hardwire eight. All right, um, that would definitely be another good option, um, as well as the 16S. But yeah, this is pretty much what the 16s will do for you and wired sensors if you guys have any questions about setting it up um, if you guys have any questions about monitoring your Qolsys alarm system please feel free to give us a call uh, at 888-818-7728 also feel free to send us a quick email to support at alarmgrid.com if you found the video helpful go ahead and hit the like button underneath subscribe to the youtube channel and hit the little bell icon so you enable notifications that way when we upload new videos you all get notified i'm george and i'll see you guys next time